welcome to Room Car Bible. Before we start this, yes, my neck is feeling better. I can get it to about right there before it starts hurting. Uh, my neck is good to go for the most part. Been on a lot of muscle relaxers. Uh, I can function and move around. However, I'm still not going to be going to hockey. Uh, I, I need to really rest this and make sure it's good uh, before I pull it again or something happens. So, um, my neck does feel better. Thank you everyone that's been asking. I know a lot of people have been asking on Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that. So, this is kind of my worldwide uh, post. I, my neck is good. Uh, for now, I think uh, as long as nothing else messes up back here, I'm good. Uh, and I just want to say thank you everyone that was concerned. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't watched the last episode, I definitely recommend you going to do that. Uh, today we are starting the finalization of the Mustang, which means we are making sure all four tires and brakes are on. So this is going to take us a second to do. All right, I'm not alone. DRZ is on his way here. He should be here actually any minute. Uh, and we're going to get this car uh, with all the new wheels on it and uh, I got a little surprise for you guys. It's kind of heavy. Let's go to the table. Talked about this before, but it has come early. And I'm on the wrong side, so let me flip over. It has come early. It was not supposed to come this early. I wasn't supposed to get it until late May or early June. But guys, we have the Exedi. Exedi? I don't know how to say that. Um, Stage one, I believe it is. So the clutch, the pressure plate, uh, and all the other fun stuff, the housing. Uh, you can see it right in here. Very nice package. I haven't actually opened this yet. Um, but it is really, really heavy. Uh, and there's that. And then we have, I forget which sensor that is. Uh, but this is basically, this is a sensor. Um, I, I forget which one it is. But it's basically an entire package. Um, oh, the uh, flywheels in here as well. There's that. Um, and uh, we, we were able to change all of this out at once. I didn't have to buy each part individually. It came in a complete kit and a complete package to do this. So works out really well. The one thing I am missing though, uh, I know I do need this tool, um, but I could not find it uh, on the website. So I have to actually look for it on Google. This is the spline key. Um, I forget how many uh, splines this is, uh, but American Muscles did not have the key for this. There may be a key actually included in here but I need an alignment key. Uh, you guys might know what it's called. If you guys wanna maybe help me out and try to find this key for me, I'd really appreciate it. I don't know if it did or not, but it comes with a key. We have the key that is uh, used to set this thing to get it. Let me try to, to show you guys. That, uh, I'm not gonna be able to go all the way down, but basically it aligns it. It aligns everything. I watched a couple videos on it, so. Uh, but yeah, we already have the key, so we're good with that. This, this kit literally has everything, and it is going in that bad boy, and we are actually going to be doing it. DRZ is here. He's up in the house. Uh, we are now working on getting the brakes on the cars. Um, I'll give you guys some close ins of that. But first, I need to turn on the lights so you guys have some more lighting in here. Uh, we have all the wheels that are sitting in here. You can clearly see. Uh, and what we're going to do is get the brakes seated. After the brakes are seated, we'll get the uh, wheels on. Uh, the hard part about this right now is that the rotors are loose because they're clean. They're not like rusted to the to the hub. Uh, so the, the rotor wants to move at the same time you're putting the brake on, so it's a pain in the ass. But we're gonna get those on and then possibly get the door panels on in the car, getting this thing ready, slowly but surely, ready to get driving for once. Some jack issues, people. The jack has slipped slightly. And dear Z. Oh god. This isn't good. We may have a, we may have to replace some vendors. Oh god, Jiminy Christmas. Are you good? I believe we are now. Okay, I see both wheels are on the ground. Oh god.
working. It'll sound good on the camera. Guys, this is day two. Uh, if you guys didn't see the Mustang fully yesterday, uh, it was getting a little dark outside, so I don't know if the, the window was actually shining. But there it is. The Mustang looks good as soon as the camera will focus. Those are the new wheels. We got the brakes on. You can see it all the way down. They're glossy black. Got them from American Muscle. I absolutely love them. Uh, their, their wheel is a little bigger. Uh, the wheel, I think, is one inch bigger uh, on both sides, back and front, I believe. And I think the tire is a slight bigger, too. Uh, I can't really tell from this angle, but looking at those, I'm pretty sure these tires are so flat and like, like look at this bald spot, dude. Like it's it's ridiculous. So uh, they are all four new tires on it. This is uh, it's coming together. We're getting some things done. I told you guys in the last episode, and like I'll tell you in this episode, we are finalizing the Mustang. The Mustang is coming to an end. Uh, we are preparing it for transfer to um, Amber's grandfather's house, her papa's house so we can put in the new clutch and uh, the flywheel and all that stuff. That said, I can't just take the Mustang up there. It has to at least start like it does. Uh, it has to be able to move and brake and everything else. So, cause we need to be able to transfer it onto a, uh, a lift. We need to be able to put it onto a trailer and all the nine yards. So with that said, we also have the, the interior done. We have to have the inside that it is not, I guess, done, but we have to have the interior be able to sit in there and do something. The paneling on the inside, we gotta put together. Uh, we gotta get the back seat fully pulled out. We gotta finish the trunk, finish the wiring. Uh, all that stuff has gotta be finished. Everything that is sitting outside the Mustang right now are in pieces. The door panels need to be put back in together. Actually what we're doing is we're going back to what the Mustang was right when I got it. You know, except for the old parts that we took out. Obviously, those aren't going back in. This is going to be a process to do. This is going to take a second to do to get everything back in. Uh, I'm going to say one to maybe two more episodes and we're done and we'll set the transfer. You got the time frame right now. It's looking like we will have the Mustang up at her grandfather's doing the clutch work. I want to say like June 1. June 1st, we should be ready for that. The Mustang should be up there. If that goes as planned, like it should, nothing should hinder that because we're not really doing any huge parts. The Mustang will be worked on throughout that month, uh, getting the clutch working. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take us. None of us have ever done it before. It's a, going to be a learning process, but it is something you can learn on YouTube. That said, we will get that done in June. After that's done, the clutch and everything is done in June, regardless of how it gets done, it will be done. We will bring the car back to this garage, probably center a little more this way, and we will be posting the color the design on what we're doing on the Mustang. Whether that be a camo design, a solid color, uh, stripes, whatever we wanna do, we are going to vinyl wrap the entire Mustang. After it is vinyl wrapped, we are done. So we're looking at a release of this Mustang probably June, if not very early July. That is, that is when this Mustang is going out to somebody. The last month of the Mustang, when there is a vinyl happening, uh, that will be your last time to get into uh, the pit crew. If you want in on the pit crew and uh, possibly, because I'm, I'm giving this away to someone on the pit crew. So if you want to get on the pit crew, when I start the vinyl, that'll be it. Any, any Patreons after that, you won't be considered. So as soon as the vinyl starts, I will let you guys know in the video, that is your last chance to get in to get the Mustang. Uh, and if you don't get into that, and you let's say you Patreon during the vinyl, it'll go towards the next car that we do. Uh, it won't go. You won't be in for the Mustang. That's how we're gonna work it. Uh, and that's just that's just how it's gonna work. If you want to support this series now and start supporting, then make sure that you are in the giveaway for this Mustang. There'll be a link at the top of the comment, or there'll be a link down in the description. It's patreoncom r 6 That's how you're gonna get this Mustang. If you want to support now, I would really. Really appreciate it. So uh, what we're gonna do today, uh, since we're pretty much done with the Mustang, I do want to open up this compressor. Uh, this compressor is not only just for hydro dipping; it is going to be for air tools as well. I can run some air tools with this, just not for a very extended amount of time. You guys tell me not to apologize or anything like that, but it's my job, and I feel like I always do owe you guys an apology uh, about this video. Sure, some of you could probably be able to tell, but yesterday. Uh, when DRZ was here, I just was not feeling it. I was not feeling good. Uh, my neck today is good. I have no pain in my neck uh, as of now, but it usually gets worse as the day goes. Yesterday, I took muscle relaxers really early, and I was not feeling good. I was not feeling good yesterday at all. I, I honestly, like, we started on the brakes and everything, 
and about a quarter of the way through, I just, I wanted to be done. I, I just couldn't do it. My body is just completely like lightheaded. Uh, that's what happens when I take muscle relaxers. And I just, I, I couldn't. I've been really kind of down here in the past week because of this neck situation. It's really, uh, it's thrown me out of a curve. I didn't go to hockey. I haven't gone to hockey in like a week and a half. Uh, my videos have been very hard to record because of my neck. I've had no energy whatsoever. Like I've just been drained of energy and so I feel awful. I just, I feel not myself and I hate it. So I, I'm trying to get back in that rhythm. Uh, today is the first day my neck actually feels really good. Uh, I, I feel like, I mean, it doesn't feel tight or anything yet, so I'm trying and I'm sorry. I'm, I really am. You guys deserve better content than this, and I'm working my ass off to try to do it. Next week, we'll have a dual vlog. At least that will help a little bit, uh, but I'm, I'm trying. I'm really am trying, and I'm, I'm sorry that this is the type of situation I'm in right now, and I know a lot of you guys tell me to stop saying sorry, but you guys come to watch good content. You don't come to watch me bitch at my neck, so... Uh, I feel responsible for that. So again, I'm sorry. I'm working on it. It's a bump in life. I got to get over it. Once I'm over it, we'll be back to the roll. I got a lot of things exciting happening with the Lotus soon. Just hang on. I got this compressor. I'm really excited about this. I got this thing, but then I like never opened it up because I was waiting. Oh God, there's so many parts in here. I'm going to cut this bag off here. I'm going to zip tie. Holy moly. Yeah, this thing's a, a lot bigger than I expected. Got a big old cord. See this thing? Holy crap! This cord is huge. Uh, does it? Okay, it's a regular outlet. It's like all oily and stuff. God, it's like some anal ease all over my package. Look at this. This is a uh, compressor from Harbor Freight, and it is a two horsepower, 29 gallon, 150 PSI tank uh, compressor. That's not anything that I will be fully using. It's not like I'm painting cars. It's literally painting for like 10, 15 seconds and then stopping. So this will be plenty enough of what I wanted. I just needed to get rid of that pancake uh, compressor down there. This is actually quieter than the pancake compressor, which is really weird. So uh, this is really nice. I'm really excited about this. It's gonna be a nice uh, change of flow as far as a compressor goes. I still gotta get a um, uh, water oil separator to go in the front of the line. That way that I'm not uh, uh, shooting out any water oil. If you didn't understand what this is for, it's because we're getting hydro dipping back in action. Uh, that is, it is coming together, it's still dry in here. And we're waiting for uh, the guns to get here. We'll be able to start throwing some stuff in the tank. Just having some fun with it. It'll be a good time. Guys, that's today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I know, guys, I, I know I'm going to see in the comments. You don't have to tell me a million times that you wish there was more in this video. Unfortunately, like I said, I've already explained it. I'm not going to go through it again. Kappa, I will throw your ball after I do this video. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys on Fan Mail Friday tomorrow. Me and Kappa are going to keep throwing the ball here, but she's not going to leave me alone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. appreciated it. Hit the subscribe button if you want to subscribe, comment what you thought about the video, and like, obviously, all the time. I love you guys' faces. Thank you so much for watching, and Kappa says goodbye.